Today, we're going boating. Let's go, let's go, come on, let's go. Oh my goodness. As it turns out, our neighbor Tina just told us there's a rocket launch in like two minutes. Tina is this one over here. They love her so much. She always watches the dogs when we're away and stuff. Koopy, are you not gonna go see Tina? Come on, Coop. <laughs> Look how excited he is. He loves her so much. It's like his second blonde lady. Good job, boys. This is our yard to your right. Oh, wow. Boys, do you see it? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Tandem. <laughs> okay. That's, that's awesome. What's up, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper Sunday. Go to the boat, boys. Go to the boat. Go to the boat. Go to the boat. Good boys. No jumping, Coop. The water's... Oh, 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 oh. He really thought about it. Buddy, we're going on the boat today, but I don't know if you're getting in the water. This is a prep for the next couple of weeks. Weather's warming up. Water's warming up. We want to make sure you're ready for boat episodes this summer. That's a good boy. A really good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Look at that good boy. Strutting his feet. All right, here we go. Wow, we got two fancy boys with shoes. Must be going on a special date, huh? <laughs> So it's been a while since we've done a boat episode. You guys remember we used to have this generator out here. We would have to plug the cord into it, power it up. It made a lot of noise. It was just kind of a chaos yeah. clown party. Well, with our renovations, we now have power to the dock. You just plug this guy in, flick the switch, and down she goes. Absolutely love it. This is the only noise we have now instead of the generator going. Whisper quiet. Look at Coda, he already knows where he's going. Good boy. Part of this day is just continuing to get them comfortable with it, with the shoes on, with the process. We want things to be perfect for this summer, right boys? Like boarding, Coop, would you like to step aboard please? Please, sir, go ahead, good boy. Good. Yes, yes, I'm asking, please get on the boat. Should sir, I... sir, okay. sir, go ahead, step aboard please. Sir, Coopy, go. Good boy. I don't know why we all go down that way when you could step on that. Oh. He, I was trying to move him over here and he just went right through my legs. Okay, well that works too. Koopy's looking for his fish friends. Coop, they don't really come out as much in the winter. It's cold, they stay home. You remember that first time we brought them out? It was a big ordeal and, I mean, Coda got comfortable eventually but we had to really coax him on here. Yeah. Look at that. Good. We're doing a really good job. Coop, you gotta get down, get in the boat. Come here. No being outside of the boat when we're going. And look, we've even got a little dog door here. So, Koopy, come here. Good boy. <laughs> look at big boy just <laughs> en enjoying the weather. It's a little bit chilly. Let's see what the degree is. If we go into our climate here, it's 74 degrees in the air and 72 in the water. A little bit chilly, but not bad. That's a lot of dog in that dog door right there. Just taking up the whole thing. Good boy, Coda. Are you our navigator? We're watching where we're going. Make sure we don't hit any icebergs, all right, buddy? Somehow Stinky McGee lost a shoe. Stay. I wish we didn't have to wear the shoes. The problem is the, the floors in these boats is like a really nice, soft, it's called sea deck in the boating world, but it's like a foam kind of. Yeah, kind of like, like it's meant to be soft and dry quickly, so it's it's very easy to scratch and puncture. Coda, let me, can I see something? But Oh, it's up here, okay. We were worried we had a shoe overboard, but we just lost it. This absolutely warms my heart more than anything. He loves it, good boy. Are you on the boat? He's checking out both sides. <laughs> You're getting so brave. You wouldn't even go up here originally. I remember in the last one you went down on the sea deck, like the, the swim platform, but you didn't go up front. What do you think, buddy? It's a nice day, huh? It, 
we've got we've got two of them trying to see up front like this here I think this is one of our neighbor's dogs it uh, it gets it Be good. There is a gaggle of birds out here. We're gonna go check them out before we get started. Look, boys! It's like our own a goop, you looked the wrong way. Look! It's like our own National Geographic. Look at all those birds. Coda, do you see them? Boys, look! Look at what's happening behind you. Some guard guard dogs, huh? This might be the largest flock of birds I've seen on our lake. Hopefully you guys can see them. They're kind of hard to spot amongst the sky, but there's like at least 500 of them. So, Coop, come here. Cooby, brother's in the way I know. Cooby, come here. Coda, come. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Nicely yeah, done. Cooby. Today, I'm going to be honest, is a lot about you and your behavior and your listening. We're really hoping you can behave well. So one of my dreams has always been to learn to wake surf with Cooper. This boat sucks up a bunch of water, it weighs itself down, it creates a wave in the back, and then you can surf on it. And you can do like little short boards and do little carves and tricks and whatever, or you can do long boards and even paddle boards. And my dream has always been to get Cooper on a paddle board with me surfing. I just think that'd be so fun. The problem is, and you guys know this, Cooper is crazy. So this is kind of a test run. We're going to fill the boat up. We're going to do a little surfing. We're going to make the wave go and try to teach him, hey, listen, be good, be in the boat. If you're not on the board and in the water, you need to know how to stay in the boat and behave. Yeah. I might even get back behind it, see if he can handle being on the boat when other people are riding. We'll see what happens, but I'm hoping it goes well. Koopy, are you ready to listen? Koda. I don't think you want to go surfing on a paddle board with me. He sees you though, because you'll be close enough that he'll know it's you. Right. So I wonder what he'll do. Yeah, this is it's gonna be fun. We're getting their reactions. So we come in here. We're gonna put on wake surf mode. We're gonna start filling it up. Three tanks, port starboard and belly. We're gonna be putting a I don't I don't even honestly know how much. Like close to a thousand pounds maybe. We'll update you guys when we're full. like being out here buddy this is your type of weather it's not 90 degrees it's not hot and humid we've got a cool breeze nice fresh air good boy Chelsea, do you think we just make this like the no-no zone like anytime he puts his foot up here we say no Cooper get down down good boy the biggest thing is we just want him to make sure when he's not like in the water being a part of the thing when we're you know really paying attention to him he needs to learn to stay inside the main part of the boat. That's a good boy. You're gonna love this so much if we ever actually get this done. I, I think this counts as inside the boat, right? I don't think so. He's pushing it a little bit, but he's still inside the boat. Good boy. Just love being out here. <laughs> and where he goes, he just puts two paws on the seat and just sticks his little head up. <laughs> Mister, that's the no-no zone. Dakota, get down. Down. Good boy, that's that's good. I think when we're riding, we've also got to make the front off limits, snow bow riding. Koopy, come here. The last thing we need is him to like jump off forward and have the boat keep going. Come on, do this way. The good news is we had a, a special doggy door installed just for this situation. We can completely block them out. Oh look, more birds. Boys, do you see them? Do you see them? I think Koopy might see him. You see him, buddy? Maybe not. No, he definitely sees him. Oh, get him, Koop. Get him. Oh, he sees him. He sees him. We're almost done filling. We're going to turn around. We're going to go get him. He's trying try to get in there. Look. Look. You see him, buddy? A couple minutes later, we're all full. 950 pounds of water. 
in three different parts of the boat, so nearly 3,000 pounds. There's more to port, Coop. <laughs> Just watching them. Chels is taking the helm, and I am taking care of our first two mates. Boys, be good and listen, okay? We're gonna go. It's not very fast. We go about 12 miles an hour, so it's really not that fast. But getting up is just kind of loud, and we'll see how they how they do. Just gonna ease into it. Good boys. Good boy. It's okay. Good boy. Coda, do you see the wave back there? You're actually being really good. This is a good spot for you to rest right here. Coda, do you see it? Look at all that water you could drink. Be careful, Coop, be careful. You see it? Lots of water happening. Just stay calm. Wow, look at that. I was totally expecting Cooper to go crazy because of all the splashing water. He was surprisingly really well behaved. Sorry to the uh, kayakers out here. Just a part of lake life, gotta deal with the rollers. I'm pretty sure he'd come out here every day with us and just vibe. Do you know that song from Tangled that's like, I got the wind in my hair and a song in my heart, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> By the way guys, I'm not sure if you can tell, but Chelsea is a little bit sick. She's got like a sore throat and stuff, so she's probably not gonna talk all that much. The boy's gonna carry the episode. And you are too. You're such a good boy. I'm honestly so, so, so impressed with you. We're gonna let the kayakers get back over to the boat ramp and um, then I guess if we were that good, we can try me getting in the water. I, it's gonna be a little bit cold, but we'll see if we can still listen then. All right, buddy, this is gonna be the real test, okay? Are you ready for this? Am I allowed to get in the water? Are other people allowed to get in the water? I have dreams of like, being able to bring all of our friends out in the summer and everyone's playing on the boat and jumping off and doing whatever. Oh At least maybe a couple friends and just like have him learn to wait until he's told. I don't know if you guys have seen or not, but our friend Ray, we call him Uncle Ray and him and Cooper are best friends and they do everything together and there is absolutely no way that he would let you and Ray jump off the boat and he wouldn't be right there. There's without well, a doubt, it will never happen. We can, we can start trying to work on it. Wait, should we make a bet? Even if it, well, yeah. We, we can. We'll try that this summer. We'll have Ray over and we'll, we'll do like a, a test, a Cooper test. We'll see how the training goes for the next few months. Yeah, I don't foresee it happening. At least if he can behave with us, then that'll be good. Swimming is the best thing in the world to him, so we're, we've just got to show him that sometimes you can't swim. Sometimes you got to let other people swim. We're going to be good, right? That doesn't look like a good face to me. That looks like a face of naughtiness that's getting ready to do something bad. I'm just going to go in the water. No, no, no. Get down down good boy this is gonna be so cold it's not that bad be good stay stay you stay there you're a good boy i love you stay. ready cooper get down down good boy This is all I want to do all summer, is just hang out with them on the boat. Good boys. So we're in the water. This is another big test. Can he see me swimming up to the boat? And sorry, you guys are a little smudged. Can he see me coming up to the boat and not jump in and be a good boy? We're about to find out. Stay. Good boy, I'm right here. I didn't go anywhere. Good boy. Get down. No, no, good boy. I'm right here, buggy. Nobody left you. 
You're a good boy. Okay, well, I wasn't in the boat. I know your throat hurts, but give us a, a quick report card. Like one, oh. one to ten. So it's changing the speed of the boat. She's talking about this throttle here. When it's in neutral, you can't move it, but when it's in drive, it's kind of like a, you push it down to go as fast as you want to go. So he's jumping in your lap and so hitting there that. Was, there was the potential. I wasn't that worried about him going faster because it's got the control, but I was afraid if it's down, if he's trying to climb in my lap, he's just gonna- Pull it backwards, right back the boat just and stops. Just be, yeah, I mean, right no one's gonna get hurt with that. I feel like we, we can work on being a little more chill. He instantly started crying as soon as the boat would go by, like when I was down in the water and he couldn't see me. Yeah, he didn't like that at all. And then he wanted to go up here to be lookout, but he couldn't get up there, so he just kept shoving his face into the little face there. <laughs> right here? No, here. Right here. Oh. He was just aggressively <laughs> shoving his face into the <laughs> Well, you never want to you know lose. Who I think really likes the show. Coda? Yeah, nice. Just hanging out. You know, technically, I mean, that's the reason why we have this. The driver or a spotter always has to keep your eye on the rider at all times. Yeah. So Cooper is just abiding by the laws of the I don't Florida. Think he's being a safe spotter if he's trying to climb in the driver's <laughs> lane. Sorry. I think you did a wonderful job. I'm actually really, really impressed, and I think we will be able to get this done. Koda, I don't think uh, I don't think you're going to be getting on a paddleboard anytime soon. But I do think you're fantastic company and I really like having you on the boat with us. So, you're a good boy. There's a whole boat. A whole boat for him to lay in. He's gonna try to get closer. <laughs> there is a whole boat for him to lay in and he chooses to lay on your feet. Just as all things should be. We made it home. You don't need your feet. Straight bone on both of my feet. Maybe you should be wearing shoes. You're, I'm not supposed to wear shoes on the boat. Yeah, it's that's that's a rule, but I guess they can break it. Good boy. Good boy. All right, come on. Shoot the gap. Good boy, Coda. Go ahead. Come on. Oh gosh, what is happening? You guys need to determine who's going first. I'll I'll pull this over. Come on. Come on. Good boy, look at that, and look at that. My little buddy went up inside, but he's always watching, always watching. Good boy! That was a fun day, wasn't it? Bam, nicely done, girl. Don't feel the need to talk in the outro. You need to rest. It's time for you to take a nap. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was just kind of, like we said, a little test run. We're probably gonna do a few more of these just on our own, because again, we just, obviously with boats and machines and water, like it's inherently a little bit dangerous. So we just wanna make sure that they realize that they need to be calm, be chill, and be you know retained not not go crazy not jump off the boat that kind of thing so we're just going to work with them slowly i think the next step that you guys will probably see is probably like getting on a paddleboard in the pool paddling around kind of getting used to that and who knows maybe in that episode if we're confident enough in it we can eventually try getting them out there so hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching look forward to this summer we have so many fun things planned on the water we've got some new inflatables we just purchased we've got some island plans We've got a lot of fun stuff planned, so lots more to come soon. Thank you guys again. We will see you guys later. Peace out.